traders, I often get asked, do I only trade off of seasonality? And the short answer is no. Now, if you've been following my work for any some time, you know that I primarily like to swing trade off of the principles of seasonality and line that up with high probability technical patterns. Now, when I'm looking at shorter term time frames, intraday charts such as a tick, five minute, 15 minute, etc., I'm not taking seasonality into play. I'm always taking the bigger picture into play when I'm trading intermediate and longer term swing trades. But when I'm looking at the shorter term time frames, I'm not really taking the principles of seasonals into play as strongly. What I do take into account is the 3S code, which is the which is the one two three pattern. You can see that here. I've got a 60 minute chart here on the left pane and a five minute chart on the right window pane. And this is crude oil futures, which leads me to another point is I get asked how how much do I take into consideration news events? Well, I do pay attention to new news events, potential headline risk on red flag news events such as FOMC announcements, which we had today other monetary policy and rate decisions across the globe, not just domestically. But I wanted to show you a few trades that I made today on Fed Day or FOMC Decision Day that really take the news, take the emotions out of your overall decision making. So while we must always be cognizant of news and headline risk, as well as price structure, I'm going to show you a couple of low risk, high probability trades that repeat themselves day after day. And so here on a five minute chart of crude oil, and we'll start around 6 a.m. You can see we had trades, we had a long trade here in crude, the long from around 58.70, almost hitting its target up here at 58.90. We had another one, two, three bottom here starting to form between 9 and 10 a.m. Central. A long trade of 30, a long trade at 58.30, hitting its target objective of 58.70. And then we had another long trade at 1 o'clock from 57.80 up to 58 even. Notice that in all three examples, we hit TP1, TP1, and TP1. In this third example, we hit TP2 almost to the tick. So even during the wake of the volatility we had in crude oil, especially with the attacks on the Saudi production units over the weekend, crude oil, which is a notoriously volatile contract, we can drill down to the lower time frames and still take advantage of nice movements in the underlying. So here was the gap up of over $7 on Sunday evening which we're also involved in a one, two, three, or a one, two, three bottom or long trade. If you flip down to the five minute, you can still see that there's opportunity to be had in the market. Now, if we flip over to the E-mini S&P, same scenario, the market has been very volatile. We knew we had FOMC decisions this afternoon, but that doesn't mean you couldn't take some small lower risk trades leading up to the announcement. So and that's exactly what we did. We had a trade set up around 8 or 8.15 a.m. this morning. Long trade triggered from 30.03 up to 30.05. And then we had another long trade from 30.01 back up to 30.04. Of course, you want to be flat going into the announcement. As you can see, we've had extreme volatility uh, all the way up from 05 down to 85 or about a 20 point range in just about 10 or 15 minutes. These are ways and ideas that I trade while I'm waiting for the perfect seasonal setups. And I'm actually gonna be talking about that this week in a free webinar. If you'd like a registration link, send me an email at support at seasonalswingtrader.com and I look forward to seeing you there. Take care.